Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam and this is a Crafty Blinder van build. Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is all about van security. Um, I'm a member of a few groups on Facebook and over the past few months I've seen the increase in reports of stolen vehicles. And I just thought it was maybe time I should do something about mine. Um, I have been reliant on basically manufacturers, mobiliser and manufacturers um, alarm. And I think it's maybe time to, to do something a bit more. So today we're going to fit a tracker. Now, if you watch Urban Van Life, you'll have seen Emma and Neil give a good vlog all about um, insurance and van security. And off the back of that, I used their discount code and I bought the car lock system. And I bought the one that doesn't plug into the OBD, it plug this one wires hard into the vehicle so you can hide it anywhere you have a permanent feed. So, in this video, I'm just going to show you how I did that. So, it's in the box. Basically, it comes like this there's a little seal there. If that seal's broken, contact your seller and. Uh, let them know because it's been opened and the last thing you want to do is let anybody know the contents of what's in here it's got a qr code on the front there um, and when you start opening up the box <laughs> i opened this before it's still half asleep you get a card this is an activation card Maybe I shouldn't have scrolled you that side. <laughs> right, let's chop that bit out. Inside the box, you get this box, you get an activation card. Make sure you don't share the details of that activation card with people. You then get the device. It is really straightforward. Now, I've gone for this one because I can hide it anywhere in the van. They do do one that plugs into your OBD, um, but again, if people steal your van, they are quite switched on. What they usually do is, <coughs> excuse me, what they will usually do is take your van, drive it only a matter of miles away, park it up and monitor it. They will put it in a big car park or they will put it in an industrial area, but put it somewhere where it probably doesn't look out of place and they'll just keep an eye on it for a couple of days. See if it's got a tracker on it. If it's got a tracker on it and it's gone, they know that they've done the right thing. So for me, I'm going to hide this. For the purpose of this video, I am going to just temporarily wire it in. But, but it does come with quite a little bit of flex on it. I think it's about half a metre. Let's unravel this. Yeah, so you've got probably, yeah, about four or five hundred mil of flex there on the end of the device so you can have it up and tucked out of the way okay and then <laughs> stuck in the bottom of the box is the instructions another qr code um, and that's for tutorials and how-to sections so you don't even have to watch this video you can go and scan this and they'll show how to put it in properly. <laughs> but um, how are we going to look at this? In all honesty, there's not a lot of information on there. That is it. It shows you a position there where it sticks straight on the battery. Now, for me, I'm not going to do that because everybody will know where to look for the battery. Um, that'd be the first place they will look for it. If they've pinched your van or your camper or your motor home, that's where they're going to go and look as close to the battery as possible. They'll look underneath the dashboard as well. <coughs> but the beauty of our vehicles, our self built are, we have permanent supplies right through that vehicle so I'm going to make this as hard as possible for them 
had been. <clears throat> you are a noisy eater, pup. You are. You are a real noisy eater. Yes, yes. I'm trying to make a video here, and all we can hear is you eating. Yeah. Go on, go on, finish your breakfast. Okay, let's have a little look at this on app. Um, there you go. I've downloaded this beforehand. So tap here to activate. So basically, as soon as you've downloaded it, this is what you'll have. I haven't done anything else with it other than download the app. So tap here to activate. Hmm. Okay. So when you get to this page, what you need to do then is just scroll down and click activate new device. There is some bump there to read. Um, obviously, you're entering a contract with them that will cost you um, £5.99 a month to monitor and track your vehicle. Um, so, I'll have a quick read through this and then we'll click accept and we'll come back to it. That was basically a standard. Uh, agreement um, there's nothing in there untowards so I'm quite happy to accept that <laughs> oh dear let's go back right let's try activate new device accept ah, I just had a bit of a brain fart so this page is activating the new device with your device comes this card on the back of this card is all the details that you need for here and here so activation code and serial number so i'll enter that and we'll come back to the next page the next page asks you for your email password name phone number and all the rest so again i will enter these details and show you the next page on the next page, it asks for your vehicle details, so I've selected Volkswagen, I've typed in Crafter, my time zone is Europe, London and United Kingdom. On to the next page, let us update. So that was quite a lengthy document, um, it went into basically your data protection and what they can do with the information that you're supplying to them. And um, but purchases, in-app purchases and stuff like that. So it's worth a read. Um, if you're happy, just click accept. Right. And this is where, <coughs> excuse me. So, well, it's six ninety-five. Um, I thought it was five ninety-five. That seems to have gone up. But anyway, it's it's a small price to pay for for that added security. So I'm going to enter my details in there, uh, unless you want to give me yours, and you can pay for it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll do this page, and we'll go on to the next page, see what happens. So I, um, I didn't actually subscribe at that point. I pressed the wrong button, and I've ended up back in my account now. So this has shown me my subscription, subscription has started, about 31 days but look at this you can buy this at a discounted price so do the math um it was 6.95 so you're probably saving two months uh, subscription so that probably that's there probably going to bring it down to the 5.99 that i thought it was going to be um standard annual plan what's this one kind of basic annual plan what's in that Offer security notifications, engine start, advanced uh, driving stats, uh, keep and log on your personal business trips with three month history, get a trip report, £82 doesn't sound bad, standard plus. The monthly plans there. That's cool. Huh? So let me show you where this is. This is 
when you open up the app if you click on dashboard click on the account icon down there this will take you to a page where you can manage and then you manage your subscriptions just there so I'm going to decide which one I want and then we'll go into the next part of the job the next part for us to do is actually connect the device um, now we can take anywhere from five minutes to 24 hours for this device to connect so let's go and get this connected up temporarily I might add because like I said before I am going to hide this device um, and make it harder for anybody who steals my van to get rid of this So once you've been successful at setting up your app, you will get an email from them welcoming you to Carlock as a customer. Um, work and sleep without worry. Lots of tips there. Um, you know, it'll help you go through and set up the device to your liking. So good follow up straight away. I'm happy with that. I'm going to read these and, and see if there's anything in there I should be doing. Okay, I've got the um, device wired up now, um, and I'll just show you where it is. It's just connected to our little fuse board down there. So for the purpose of this, making this video, I'm just going to leave it where it is currently. So that's your status light, and that's your navigation light. I don't know if you can see them just flickering away there. So the top one's status, middle one's navigation. So there they look to be doing their job at the minute so what i'll do is i'll pop this somewhere where it can it'll stay and won't fall down um yeah i'll just stick it on top of that bag of fuses my spares put the seat back and hopefully that's enough for it to work we'll take that screwdriver with us okay so we've got an icon there um so we've got a notification now i'm just going to open this quickly i think it may contain some of my information so i'll cover the top yeah it does so navigate to the car hmm, we'll do that with maps always find the best route <laughs> i'm right beside my house anyway so that's a good little feature um you can track where your, where your car is if it, if it ever gets lost. Let's just come back out. Right, we need to now take this on a drive about. Oh, look, you can change the maps. I like that one. But anyway, let's. There, yeah, I think. We'll We'll go back to hybrid or normal. <laughs> normal, yeah, we'll go, we'll leave it on normal. Okay, so I've got some information on there, I don't want you to see, but um, obviously if you do your homework, you can find out where I live. <laughs> okay, let's take this for a spin. We're out and about. Um Still currently in learning mode, so I'm going to drive around for a little while, get this uh, get this to sort itself out and configure itself and we should be good to go from there. So it's, it does a little bit of a, a review on your driving as well, which is quite good. Oh, voltage as well. Obviously notice there's a drop there, that must be maybe when we started the van. Um, Oh, we'll interrogate this later and have a good look. How do we go back? Yep, that's it. Right, let's crack on and see where we get to. So, we're down at my brother's place and uh, it's still in learning mode. Um, I'll have a little look, see if there's anything I can do to improve the learning mode. Or, I don't know. Let's have a little look and see if we've done enough, if that's enough, or if I'm missing a step in the dance. So it turns out that the learning mode can last up to a week. Should, well, 
they reckon after a week the app starts working properly so I'm not going to cure this in a day I've been driving around for ages trying to trying to um, get the app to learn my driving techniques and skills or whatever it does to verify your your account but anyway it turns out I should have read the instructions maybe <laughs> but on the um, on the information on your screen when you click um, the red icon that says it's in uh, learning mode there's a little bit more information in there and it tells you that it can take up to a week so let's just persevere with it and we'll see what it's like in a week's time but it's working a treat now so that's it all set up I've had a good ride round in the van um, I've been I've done a few miles today to be honest but uh, it's now time to connect everything up <laughs> permanently so that's the um, tracker hardwired into the van um, in a secret location that I'm not going to share with anyone because that would defeat the whole object of this exercise so it's in the van it's working it looks to be flawless at the minute um, we're still in setup mode, so it's learning my area, or it's, I don't know what it's doing actually, I need to look into that part of it, what is it, what is it learning, but anyway, it, it does this for a week, and then it settles into actual operational mode, so we'll keep an eye on it, we'll see how it does. What I thought I would do, is I'll quickly show you the app on the phone, now that everything's linked up and it's all working, I thought I'd just go through this, so on the bottom here, this is the dashboard, this is what you'll see all the time. And over time I think what will happen is my driving score will either go up or down. It's currently sat at 100. I think it will monitor your um, your driving skills, your heavy braking and stuff like that. So this here is basically um, the state of charge on the battery. Supplying the, uh, the unit, satellite and uh, mobile phone connection. So we can move off that one. If we click there this will show you everything that's happened to the device since i connected it so that was this morning we connected it temporarily i then went out and had a couple of trips around in it just trying to uh get familiarize the the device with the location and and get a better g gps signal validation then i disconnected the vi device when i got home the high battery drain I think that was when obviously the charge ran out of the device and it sent as its last throwing like breath it threw out a high battery alarm. Then I reconnected the device in its new location, its forever location. And as I was building the van back up and putting bits back together, it's it's got two vibration detections. Now these come out like a the alarm on here is quite distinct. It's it's you know it's an alarm. But the first time I heard it, I was quite shocked. Then I started the van and I moved it. And then when I locked the van up, that's the final one there. So this log updates as and when something happens to the device. On the next bit, there is this, the car lock tag. I don't know if you can buy something else. Um, I don't know what it is. But basically, I'll have a look at this and get back to it. It's in beta, so beta, beta, whatever you want to call it. It's maybe just something they're developing at the minute. Then we have other things, other settings where you can... Hmm, harsh driving. Ah, look. Signal loss disabled smart lock. Ah, cool. Speed limit. You can also set that. I'll have to have a little look at that. And then you can personalise it. So I've put a photo of the van there. It's got my details on. And you can add another vehicle. So obviously you can buy more of these devices and add it to your account and probably find a, a subscription that will cover you for multiple vehicles. But uh, mm -hmm. geofencing. So the reason is other settings there that you can go into and have a look at. There's your trip. Ah, yes. Alarms. Again, there's another log there settings general settings that's our dashboard driving score upgrade to standard plan so there's options out there subscriptions are out there and the geofencing okay so that's that
Well, I'm pretty chuffed with this app so far. It's been, uh, it's been, <laughs> it's been good. Um, took me by surprise when the alarm went off. Um, I didn't know it did that, but that's it's something you will not miss out. Once it goes off, you follow an alarm, you'll have a look at it, you'll see what the alarm is, and you'll act accordingly. But uh, yeah, I'm happy so far. We'll give you a little update in a couple of weeks, see how we're getting on with it. Well, that brings us to the end of another video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much for getting us over that 2,000 subscribers milestone. Um, it does mean a lot. I know we were meant to draw the competition a little bit sooner, but I have had issues with the t-shirt suppliers. Um, hopefully that's all resolved. T-shirts still haven't arrived yet, so I did want to like give you a preview of them. Um, I don't know what's happened. Obviously we've had a couple of strikes over the last couple of weeks with, um, with the postal guys, so... I could have added to the delay, but anyway, thanks for subscribing. You, you know, this does mean a lot to me. This was just um, a vlog I wanted to record and memorise, immortalise or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Everything I'd done on the van and uh, the easiest way seemed to be to set up a YouTube channel and, um, you know, if I could offer a little bit of advice or help somebody along the way or help somebody save a few quid, that was the idea behind it, that was the ethos. So, share everything we do. If we break something, we show that. We're not gonna sugarcoat it, make it into an Instagram perfect channel. This is just me working on my van and uh, doing what I do. And I appreciate um, all the subscribers, all the likes, all the shares and all the comments. So thank you very much. Here's the boys going out. Crafty crew. You nearly killed your mate. You nearly killed your mate. No, Where's your helmet, Leighton? What? Uh, well, uh, hello, how are you doing? I'm very good. It's going very nice. Where's going? I don't know, no, no. not yet. Well, disappear because I'm trying to make a video. Drop a gear and disappear. Drop a gear and disappear. Adios. Adios. See you, princesses. <laughs> loons. Absolute lot of them loons. Anyway. Thank you very much. It means the world. It does mean the world. I never thought we'd get to 2,200 subscribers, which is currently where we're at now. Um, it's balmy. really is balmy. The guy who mentors me, um, Steve, even he's been commenting this last couple of weeks about how well we're doing. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, in all honesty. I just know that um, I really do appreciate everything. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your friends. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.